All winter, your brute shoulders strained against collars, padding and steer hide over the ash hams, to haul sledges of cordwood for drying through spring and summer. From the Glenwood stove next winter and for the simmering range. In April, you pulled cartloads of manure to spread on the fields, dark manure of Holsteins, the knobs of your own clustered with oats. All summer, you mowed the grass and meadow and hayfield, the mowing machine clacketing beside you while the sun walked high in the morning. In the afternoon's heat, you pulled a clawed rake through the same acres, gathering stacks and dragged the wagon from sack to stack and built the hay rack back uphill to the chaffy barn three loads of hay a day from standing grass in the morning Sundays you trotted the two miles to church with a light load a leather quarter top buggy and grazed in the sound of hymns generation on generation your neck rubbed the window sill of the stall smoothing the wood as a sea smooths glass. When you were old and lame, when your shoulders hurt bending to graze, one October the man who fed you and kept you and harnessed you every morning led you through corn stubble to sandy ground above Eagle Pond and dug a hole beside you where you stood, shuddering in your skin, and lay the shotgun's muzzle in the boneless hollow behind your ear and fired the slug into your brain and felled you into your grave shoveling sand to cover you setting goldenrod upright above you whereby next summer a dent in the ground made you a monument for a hundred and fifty years in the pasture of dead horses roots of pine trees pushed through the pale curves of your ribs Yellow blossoms flourished above you in autumn, and in winter frost heaved your bones in the ground. Old toilers, soil makers, oh, Roger, Mackerel, Riley, Ned, Nellie, Chester, Lady Ghost, 